I'm going to go into the Zune player here. The background image you hear is uh, it's a band called The Heavy, and the Zune player randomly takes images from the music you're playing or downloading and uses it as background. History. Uh, the, the Zune player is a little complex. If you've used Zune before, you, you'll make sense of it. Um, otherwise, it's may, maybe a little odd how you navigate through it. But once you get a hang of it, it, it really gives you access to a lot of things. So I'm going to tap here so you can see all the music I've got loaded into the device. And just like in the Contacts app, you can skip ahead to a particular letter. Album art supported, of course. This is a band called Pink Turns Blue. If you long press on one of the track controls, it'll scan forward. Switch tracks with a simple swipe. Gonna deactivate the phone and then reactivate it. You can see we have immediate access to it, even on lock screen, without unlocking the phone. And if I hit the start menu and go back elsewhere, it still plays in the background and Pressing the volume key, oops, sorry. Pressing the volume key will bring back those controls. But not all apps will run in the background. In fact, most things will not run in the background, which is kind of a pain on Windows Phone 7 at this point. Apps basically go into a hibernation mode, and then you know re reload or um, resume once you go back to them. Windows Phone 7 syncs up to Microsoft's Zune software on a PC. Uh, there's a Mac solution coming as well. You can get to videos, podcasts, and things like that as well. There's also an FM radio. I don't have the antenna plugged in though. Go to the marketplace and you can see how you shop for new music. And even if uh, you're not planning on buying any particular tracks, you can still stream things live and play them in real time uh, just by having a Zoom Pass, which costs $15 per month. So a bunch of things you can go through here and look at the recommendations, or you can just hit the search button here and uh, search. I'll search for, uh, let's see, I'll do Marilyn Manson just because he's sure to have a interesting photo. So there's Marilyn Manson. There's also things with you know Marilyn Manson and the song and everything, but we're interested in the artist, Marilyn Manson. So here are all the things that you can get from him. So here's all the things you can get. You can tap on one of them to see it. A bunch of different tracks. Long press on a track, you have some options, you can buy it, or you can just download it. And if you have a Zoom Pass, that means you can download it to the phone so it's local for offline playing, but you're not actually purchasing it. As soon as your subscription expires, then the music is no longer playable. But I'm going to download this, in, this track here. You can see it's pending. It's going to start downloading in a second of our Wi-Fi connection. But I'm going to download something else in its entirety. This entire EP here. Those are also pending and they'll be downloaded directly to the phone. But I don't have to do that. I can play things streaming and just play this, for example. What it's doing is it's opening a connection over the internet, over our Wi-Fi connection at the moment. It also works over 3G and it'll just start playing. So now the song is playing streaming. It's not been downloaded. You can notice if I long tap on it, it says that I can still download it. Tap here to get to a list of all the tracks and I can skip ahead. And now it's streaming this song. You'll also notice that the background tile for music and videos has changed to that Marilyn Manson picture. If I go into the marketplace, you can see the two there suggests that there are multiple updates available to me for applications I've already downloaded. It says right there two updates. I can 
hit the update all button to automatically update those. Right now we're just going to look at some of the apps that are here. You can pick by category. Uh, Samsung has their own section with some applications, but uh, let's pick uh, finance. And we can look at some of the applications. Top apps, just new apps. Or just free apps. And uh, categories, and I'm not quite sure what that means, to be honest. Easy to download, um, install an application. Uh, this one happens to be in French. I've seen a lot of Spanish ones and a couple of German too, so it doesn't seem to be limited by language just yet. I'm not sure why Microsoft's got them all jumbled in together. In any case, hit install. It says confirm purchase, but this is a free application. Were it a paid application, you'd be able to pay by credit card or be able to bill directly to your carrier if you were on a supported carrier. Uh, AT&T at this point does support carrier billing. Hit check install and you can see the status. It's installing it and now it's already there. Go back to the home screen, main menu, and there's the application we just installed. Of course there's one problem with that app. I don't speak French, so I'm going to uninstall it. And that quickly it's gone. And what would a Microsoft operating system be without good office integration? Uh, Windows Phone 7 certainly lives up to that expectation. Starts off on the OneNote screen. These are just quick notes. This is a pre-installed note that uh, Microsoft put on just to show you some of the abilities of the device. I've created my own notes as well. You can see you have highlighted text, photos and everything. And the cool thing is you can actually, all of these notes sync to um, Microsoft's live website, so you can edit them in a web-based client. It's a lot easier to do. Uh, right now there's no copy and paste, for example, on uh, Windows Phone 7. Uh, they've shown it the functionality in uh, some test builds, but it's not here yet for the production devices. And there's also no way to select a bunch of text. So while you can format something, like maybe make it yellow background like you just saw, uh, you'd have to do it in individual words, which really doesn't make any sense right now. Document support. Uh, great Excel, Word, and um, PowerPoint support. This is a really nice Excel spreadsheet. It's got you know, charts, everything in it. Works really well. I'll show you uh, PowerPoint as well. Full support for animations and things. Uh, this is just a quick one. I just pulled it off the internet somewhere. It's just a template, but you can see at least some of the basic animations. Uh, it's capable of much more than that, though. My test Word document. It's part of the reviewer's guide. And the great thing is you're not only just reading this stuff in a really nice format, you're fully capable of editing. The keyboards all work in landscape mode, of course. And then I can back out and save it. Of course, i got to rotate all the time because this application itself doesn't support landscape mode. If you're a SharePoint user, you'll be interested in some of that functionality. Uh, I've never used that myself, though. Another thing I want to show you is cursor control. Um, you can see you can tap somewhere and select a word, but if you long press, notice the cursor pop up there, at which point I can easily place it anywhere I need to. For example, if I wanted to get rid of that uppercase M and turn it to a lowercase m. Let's say no to the save, but I do want to show you one last thing. You go into the tap on this more button here. You notice um, the labels show up for the buttons, a couple extra commands, but I want to show you the outline. It pulls up from based on you know formatting and stuff like that so you can quickly jump to various parts of the document. Kind of cool. All modern smartphone platforms need to have games, of course. Uh, 
This is Xbox Live games, so you have your Xbox Live avatar. I'll be able to edit it soon. I'm shooting this before the system's actually live, though, so I can't do it. Uh, you can see one of the achievements I have. Requests to play games. Some of the games in my collection. Just try out Frogger. I haven't used it yet. So... Pretty easy. Uh oh. Here's a Star Wars desktop tower defense type game. Gonna drag some guys out here, and when the stormtroopers come, hopefully it's gonna they're gonna shoot them. And then you can pick up your little power ups there. You can power them up. And even sell them.